Welcome to this episode of A Shepherd's View. Uh, we're here in, uh, here in the office and uh, uh, nice and quiet in here, actually. Um, you know, in our last episode, I asked you to dream a little bit about what a day of delight would be like. A day of delight in the Lord. Psalm 37, 4 talks about that. Honestly, delight has to do with play, extravagance, and even something else. It means to be happy. Uh, I thought about that for a moment, and so I just throw this question out to you. Are you happy in God? Are you happy in Him? Eh, maybe you haven't really thought about that one, have you? Well, have you ever thought about being happy, playful, extravagant with God? Hmm. <laughs> Some may be thinking, uh, whoa, hang on there, chaplain. Are you kidding? You know, God is holy, just, righteous. I am to fear him. That is my duty. Well, okay, you're absolutely right about that. I agree, totally agree. But let's go to this. A fellow in the scriptures that is so well known, so much, I mean so much about him in the scriptures. Matter of fact, um, he has contributed so much, and, and Jesus talked about him a lot. A fellow by the name of David. What did David mean in that psalm about delighting in the Lord? A word that means to be extravagant and playful and happy and celebratory. What did he mean by all of those things? Remember, this is the man who took off his kingly garments, danced with all the commoners as they moved the ark into Jerusalem. This is the same man as well that God promised that the Messiah would come from his bloodline. This is the same man who was referred to in the scriptures as a man after God's own heart. He had the heart of God. David was a man who gave us the Psalms. He was a man who reveled in the beauty of God's creation. We've been in it. We've been all around in it. As we go out on around the campus, we find it. Well, and he was one that found great joy in the house of the Lord. One of the reasons we moved in here today. You know, David said, I was glad. I was happy. I was ecstatic. I was, oh, it was, I was so joyful when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Psalm 122, verse 1, if you want to read that. Well, the house of the Lord was a place of great joy for David. It was like going to Grandma's house. Now, I know that not everyone has had this experience. I, I know for many, they, you may not have known your grandparents or, or anything. I, I was so blessed to know both sets of my grandparents, even to know some of my great-grandparents. But I love my Grandma Noni. Grandma Nona was one of those, uh, she, was, she was the epitome of what a grandma ought to be like. I was blessed. She made cookies. She made a buttermilk cookie with butterscotch chips and sprinkled sugar, powdered sugar on top that none of our female relatives have been able to even, well, they've come close. Uh, they, they've come close. I have a sister that's come close, but no cigar. They're still not there. You see, David found the house of God as a place of joy and wonderment, a place to share company and food with the rest of the family right before God, to play together, to be delighted together, and just to delight and be with the Lord. So what about this Sabbath thing, a time of delight? 
I like to illustrate things, and uh, I guess I guess I'm a picture guy. You know, I like books with pictures. Okay, um, so to me, when I got to thinking about how would I paint, if if I could paint, which I can't, how would I paint Sabbath? What would it look like? I'm going to invite you to close your eyes for a moment and just listen to what Sabbath feels like to me. All right. The sun is set and the snow has begun to fall. It's a cold night, but not bitter. That's just right for snow. The wind is calm and the flakes quietly fall. And the whole world is a muffled silence. There's no sound but the beat of your heart. I can remember standing in that situation and feeling peace sweep over me. You stick your tongue out, catch a snowflake, it melts, it's cold, and you feel like a kid again. And for a few moments, the weight of the world is as light as that falling snowflake. To me, that's what Sabbath feels like. In Matthew 19, 4, Jesus said this, let the little children come to me. Do not forbid them, for such is the kingdom of heaven. So Sabbath is like one day a week that you get to be a child. <laughs> not childish. Let's, let's be clear on this. There's one thing about being childish and one thing to be a child. The cares of the world have been laid down. You're at grandma's house. And you can have a cookie anytime you wish. Enjoy. Let's pray. Gracious Father, thank you. Thank you for the beauty and the warmth and the peace and the joy that you give us and that precious gift that is before us in Sabbath. It's extravagant, it's beautiful. It's joyful. It's there for us. It's there for us and to commune with you and with others. Thank you. It's precious. In Jesus' name, amen.